oh, well, I knew since I was six years old I wanted to be a, a sports caster of some sort. So it was really, it was never a choice of do I want this? It's what school provide me with the best opportunity for broadcast journalism. I picked Hofstra because you have so many opportunities. I'm entering my senior year. I've done over 100 broadcasts, and that's just on site, what you hear over the radio, but I've done probably 100, 110 more that's in studio behind the scenes. You go to other schools and they promote, oh, you get to do this big game. Well, I want to do 75 smaller games over that one big game because it doesn't matter what the game is. It's matter is how good you are, how much experience you have, and Hofstra provides me with the best experience. I am involved at WRHU, our school's radio station, where I'm the program director of talk. So essentially, I oversee our news department, our sports department, and our weekday morning show. So that's of a 250-person station, probably 150 people that I technically oversee. But aside from that, that's all the managerial stuff. I do honor work for the New York Islanders, where I'm one of the three color commentators that go over the air. And then I'm a, I do Hofstra basketball soccer, softball, assorted other sports on air too, so I like the on air side a little bit better. Being with the Islanders is a mind-blowing experience. At 19 years old last year I was the lead producer. No other 19 year old in the world can say that. This year I'm 20 years old and I'm on air, the number two person on an NHL broadcast. There are six or seven people, all from Hofstra, who can say that in the entire world, that they're 20 years old, and are on a professional sports team broadcast. You, you can't pay for that kind of experience. It's something that no other school can provide, only Hofstra. In the School of Com, you have those professors who you look at their bio online or they tell you about it and you just kind of get blown away. And then you have that extra work in the classroom where, why should I listen to this person? Well, this person has 40 years experience and they have breakfast with Katie Couric once a week or they live next to this person or they hired this person so you, it just kind of brings it all together where you, you listen in the classroom and you try ex a little extra harder to apply it outside. Uh, hopefully in, in five years I want to be a play-by-play -play broadcaster for I don't really care what sport to be honest it could be basketball it could be baseball but hopefully it's well-paying job where I can do play-by-play -play for radio TV it doesn't really matter for any sort of sports team that works. Students looking into college shouldn't look at the name so much as the opportunities available to you. And Hofstra provides, I'd say, more opportunities for broadcast journalism than any school in the entire world. The radio side has the plethora of opportunities, but the TV side, too. You have the newscast. We have alums from all over the country on TV and in radio. So it just kind of goes to show you the name that Hofstra has and is starting to build. And it's really true. You have all these opportunities at Hofstra.